Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is my guide to everything HLNA and how to spend them hexagon points that you're going to be earning in the missions. Now on Genesis 2 you spawn in with a set of Federation armour but it only has an armour value of 20 and it's actually down to the fact that we're on the ship that you don't need element to power it. So if you do take this armour to another server and you can transfer with it it is useless without element so now and also while I'm on that if you want to transfer servers then you now do it at the mission terminals over here because obviously there is no obelisk on the ship so we just go into access inventory you can see all of your upload stuff is now at these mission terminals now onto HLNA and one of the abilities that was introduced in part one of Genesis is if you hold down H on PC you can scan wild creatures so this is pretty useful you can see how much torpidity something's got left on it while you're firing arrows at it as well and you can kind of use it like I use the super spyglass mod on our server you can weigh up perhaps whether a creature's worth taming here goes a 145 is a good example so and we can see that that one's got like 1600 1600 points in food so that's going to be a foodie it may not be worth taming but you can kind of gauge how good a dino can possibly be and yeah that's a cool ability that I think a lot of people forget about now when it comes to earning the hexagon points themselves you need to be completing these missions now along with getting loot for doing these missions and plenty of hexagon points you also now trigger a world buff which is also quite useful so if you're going to go out farming loot in the asteroid belt perhaps completing the circuit chase before you do it just gives that buff for three hours and yeah it just gives more reason to come and do these missions and when you get the hexagon points themselves it's what to spend them on so here we go so HLNA so let's just go over a few of her options as well before we jump into this so you can also hide her and you can also have a few options on how often she talks or what she says now I leave it at level 3 myself because she also distributes the law as you're going around the map but you can get her to turn off things perhaps if uh, her death reactions do your head in and uh, you don't like it you can turn that off but I leave them all on myself but if any of that stuff bothers you you can get rid of it okay so on to the actual shop itself now of course I've worked really hard to get over a million points here so now we're just on a test server and in the shop we ha now have the introduction of the ingram points which I think is pretty cool so now you can spend a thousand hexagons and you can unlock any of them ingrams that you didn't have unlocked before but this is all about the loot tier quality and let's just go and open a load of the green loots now I don't personally think it's worth spending your points on the green loot so let's just check what we've got inside here now I think that skin that tech helmet skin is yeah that was what I spawned in with so ignore that but as you can see we've got grappling hooks bit of paint some useless saddles really nothing that great we've got an ascendant set of fur boots but for the most part and oh an ascendant desert cloth there some ammo crates but it's pretty poor loot so let's just drop all of that stuff at 10,000 hexagons I think the best crates to be spending the points are sit in the yellow section so let's just open Welcome to the load of these so these are 20,000 double the cost but I think if you've got spare points to spend then opening up the yellows is where it's at Let's just have a look what we've got here. There we go. A little bit of element. We've got some jars of pitch. And I think there's just more useful things in here. Riot gauntlets there. They're pretty high value. Pheromone darts. 
some useful sort of kibbles, ascendant pistol. So yeah, it's they're also giving you skins and things. A load of fertilizer here. That's not that's not great. There we go forty nets, which is really really useful. There's no actual armor value on them, just as ammo. Uh, we got a mini gun, some tech boots there. So I think all in all, the industrial cooker that is really really hard to craft, and yeah, just grinding it up. You know, we've got ascendant pickaxes there. So some tech boots. Another heavy turret there. Boots, really good set of tech boots there as well. So I'm thinking that uh, the loot that we're getting back from tier two is definitely, definitely worth it. But here's where I think it's not so much worth it. And that's with the top tier of loot. So let's just open up a load of reds. Now these are almost double what it is for the yellows. So let's see what we're getting back for this. Thanks, mate. Food, mutton. Okay, we've got a chemistry bench there. That'd be useful early on, I guess, but nice set of tech gloves. But really, I don't know if it's twice as good as the yellow. Them tech gauntlets are pretty OP. But for the most part, got a mech upgrade. Oh, set of the uh, tech gauntlet things from Gen 1. The tech claws, rather. But I think for the most part, It was much better to spend our points in the yellow crate. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing myself. Of course, there's some kibbles there. There are some useful things, but a lot of food, tech shield. And let me know down in the comments what you feel. I've done this a few times and I just feel that for double the cost, the reds are just not quite as worth it. I've not seen that skin before. Nice. But yeah, for the most part, all of these items are useful. I think I'd rather open up two yellow crates as opposed to one of the red crates. Oh, and of course, don't forget to say hello to HLNA every once in a while, just for some free hexagon points back. But that about covers it from me. Now, of course, if you do have a Genesis 1 character, you can bring the hexagon points between servers, so they do transfer, but that pretty much covers it, and I'd say the best value if you do have some spare points to spend is on the yellow loot crates from HLNA. But let me know in the comments if you found that one useful. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the art content from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you. Bye.